Hey everybody, I want to give you a quick uh, run through of some of the things I'm going through right now on the boss. This is, um, I'm taking apart the wall panels right now. And I just want to do a little run through to you know let you guys know what's under them. So that you have an idea of what you're getting into when you start pulling them off. So, right here we've got, uh, oh look at that beautiful purple right there. Yep, so that's basically some sort of like liner carpet that goes over the top of it. Underneath it is, is just like plywood, like really, really thin, thin plywood. Right here, you can see just how thin that is. So, you got that under there, and then moving down the demolition line, you've got some uh, foam insulation. This is kind of that, that um, kind of more spongy stuff, you know, it's not like, I mean, it's solids but uh, it's uh, you know but um, anyways so I'm going down even further I pulled this out to kind of just get a good look at what we're actually dealing with right here and so in here this is the uh, this is the actual outside bus right there and um, you've got your you know, your frame supports right here and um, then that's where your insulation sits in it um, what I am considering doing is actually, though this looks really nice and awesome, I've got some concerns because here in Minnesota we, you know, we have some very, very long cold winters, and what I've heard is that it's not the greatest insulation, at least if I understand what this insulation is, um, being like vapor barrier and stuff like that and inside of an RV environment you're constantly breathing and giving off a whole lot of moisture in your breath and one of the ways that you can do that is putting in a vapor barrier and a spray foam insulation at least like a closed cell really nice closed cell stuff will serve as some sort of vapor barrier and you can see also in here that there is gap in between the uh, the body panel right here and the frames so if you go ahead and spray foam in there you can get good coverage to to, to keep this panel from you know sucking the in you know to keep the the heat from going out this way and then you know through this panel so that's kind of my logic as to what we're dealing with right now I just want to give you a run through in case you're doing the same sort of thing. Um, go ahead and leave any comments if you got any suggestions. Um, hopefully this helps helps out the viewers. See you guys later.